Uh, the management is now joining us uh, on the phone line. Group CEO Kedar is uh, now with us on a phone line from Mumbai. Uh, sir, congratulations first up uh, on your listing. Uh, were you expecting such a response uh, on the listing day? So, uh, thank you for, uh, for that. And uh, I think uh, I would thank all the investors and shareholders. Uh, we were not, uh, not uh, expecting such a great response, but I thank all of the shareholders and investors. It has been a very good uh, response and very pleased on the day one uh, of the listing. Uh, sir, can you talk about uh, the company? What does it essentially do? How many plants you have? What's the full capacity and your clients? What are the list of your top 10 clients? So the company is in the space of uh, niche uh, space of fragrances and flavors. It is India's largest company in the fragrances and flavor space. Uh, over the uh, last 90 plus years, the company has been creating products in uh, uh, which are used in FMCG products like fragrances and flavors are used in soap, detergent, agarbatti and many other products. The uh, company has four plants, three in India, one in the Netherlands. And it, it, over the last seven years, the company has invested heavily, uh, more than 150 crores in uh, capital investment to increase the capacity of all its plants. So it is well uh, ready for the growth going forward. What uh, is the debt on the books after the fundraising? How much will you pay? So uh, we have about 170 crores of debt on the company. And after the fundraising, we will uh, pay off uh, almost all of the debt. Uh, we uh, will have uh, almost a zero debt company uh, after, the, after this. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, so what, uh, what is the growth rate of the company? I was looking about uh, three, four years back, it was 25%. Uh, is the growth rate suddenly declining? Last year was about 10 odd percent? So we have a subsidiary in the Netherlands, which is almost at 100% capacity. So that has been a uh, drag on the growth rate uh, in the last two, three years. Last year, we invested in WAPI with an additional capacity for the uh, ingredient business. So the subsidiary in Netherlands will have additional capacity and the overall business will grow much faster than in the previous couple of years. So what will be the export contribution? Uh, we are roughly 45% uh, export revenue and 55% domestic revenue. Uh, so as far as your clients are concerned, are mostly FMCG players? Uh, in, in fact, uh, we have about 7% of our business which we call direct to consumers, where we sell uh, 25 gram, 500 gram bottles which consumers can buy in the shop and they can directly use. Uh, so apart from the 7%, everything else goes to FMCG consumer companies. So what uh, sort of raw material do you use? I was looking at the margins, they declined. Uh, any particular reason because of raw material? So this was a last year uh, margin decline was a one-off uh, event where the raw material prices uh, went up, and we had to buy on the stop uh, on the spot market because our contracts uh, the sale in the first half of the year was much more than what we had anticipated. Uh, some of the natural raw material prices had gone up, so we had to uh, buy them on spot market, and there was one-time uh, margin decline in the last year. Otherwise, we are a consistently growing, stable margin company between 18 and 20 percent EBITDA. And uh, that's what you should do. Uh, that's what you would ideally do this year as well. Yes, we will look to maintain our 18 to 20 percent EBITDA levels uh, on continuous basis. Right, uh, sir. As far as uh, the debtor situation is concerned, about four months, uh, isn't it very high considering you're a FMCG company? Uh, so uh, part of the uh, debtor situation is due to our exports, where uh, in uh, the global markets, uh, because of uh, very low interest rates, credit terms are extended uh, very high in numbers, uh, although they are all secured credit. So there is no uh, real uh, risk on, on the debtor side. But the number of days goes up as a result of the overseas uh, credit terms. So, sir, about uh, three to four months, that's what uh, you would look at going ahead as well? Yeah, so both uh, working capital and uh, debtors uh, in total, we would uh, look to bring down, uh, so if you look at five years ago, we were about 180 days uh, of sales on working capital. Uh, last year, we were at 140. We we'll look, look to bring it down to about 110 years of working capital to sales uh, going forward. Right, uh, sir, thank you so much and congratulations again uh, on a stellar list.